Characteristics of Ancient Music Ancient music is a fascinating period in time. The earliest musical instrument can be traced back to 43,000 BC, resembling a flute made from a mammoth tusk. In 2008, researchers discovered a bone flute in a cave in China that may date back as far as 67,000 years. The oldest musical notation dated from circa 900 AD and was found on a stone tablet in Turkey. There are many different theories about the origins of music. One theory suggests that music is a natural human instinct, like language. Another theory suggests that music is an evolutionary adaptation, helping early humans to bond and cooperate. Ancient music was often used for religious or spiritual purposes. The oldest surviving musical composition is a hymn to the goddess Hathor. We have enough evidence to claim that various instruments were used back then. Stephen Mithen covers this in his book The Singing Neanderthals. Later it became a speculative account in the vast swathe of history. What prominently emerges from the mists of time is the culture and conventions of the Greeks and the Romans. Writing developed around 3000 BC. The written scriptures give us a valuable window into the music of that time, particularly the Greek. There are fragments of musical notations. Of equal importance are the surviving frescoes, ceramics, and sculptures that capture musicians and dancers alike. The evidence concludes that the Greeks dominated Europe influenced by the instrumental innovations of the Mesopotamians and the Egyptians. These included wind, percussion, and string instruments, with the lyre and aulos being amongst the most popular in Greece. The Greek god Apollo played the lyre and was widely played throughout Europe. The ancient Greeks had theories that surrounded music, many developed by Pythagoras. This gave rise to a series of modal scales closely resembling the medieval period's basis. Pythagoras is the father of Greek music. He defined intervals, consonants, dissonance, and notes. A few songs sung by Euripides from Orestes use these scales. The interplay and interaction between music and poetry are important for the ancient Greeks. Many of the musicians of the time were poets as well. Music graced both secular and sacred occasions alike. Music, dance, and poetry competitions were to find the best among all categories. The most important of these competitions was the Panhellenic Games. The Olympics, Pythian Games, Isthmian Games, and Nemean Games were all held at different times throughout the year. A musical competition was also held every four years called the Panathenaia. Music was an important part of Greek daily life. There was music for entertainment at dinner parties, festivals, religious ceremonies, and public events. Laborers also sang work songs. The music was used to help pass the time and to make the workday more enjoyable. Roman culture mimics the traditions of the ancient Greeks. They studied the music elements they liked and made them their own. As we can ascertain, the Romans used a similar set of modal scales to the Greeks and enjoyed the music on all occasions. New instruments were developed, including a few extraordinary ones. Hydralis was a water organ capable of immense dynamic subtlety and similar in sound to present-day church organs. The lituus, trumpet, the sistrum, a bronze rattle, the tibia, flute or pipe, and the sambuca, large harp, were among a few popular ones. China is a culturally rich and diverse country that claims to have one of the oldest musical traditions. Ling Lun is believed to have introduced music to China. He carved bamboo into pipes and imitated the sound of the birds. During the reign of multiple dynasties, each emperor appreciated a pitch known to represent their dynasty. Such was the importance of music. The Chinese categories were silk, bamboo, hide, clay, gourd, metal, stone, and wood, each producing a unique and descriptive tone. Rather than a string, the Chinese used a bamboo pipe with a node placed at one end to allow different divisions of the overtone. This gave rise to a 12-pitch system similar to the scales of the modal system in Europe. Ancient India made a significant contribution to the world of ancient music. Carnatic music took influence from the early music of Persia and Islam. 
the religious impact on music was evident. Although later, secular compositions became more popular. In ancient times, we can discover the components of the famous raga. Carnatic music contained. The sruti, the chosen relative pitch. The raga, melodic mode. The tala, or rhythmic element of the song. The use of a drone was a characteristic of the early music played on the tambura. Accompanying a few singers would be the murdangam, double-headed drum, or the Indian violin. The melodic lines were similar to contemporary Indian music, with an elaborate spark of complex texture. Certain characteristics emerge from this glance at the ancient world's key cultures. Music dominantly featured an integral part of life across most ancient civilizations. Many of the elements of music we know today stemmed from the ancient world of music.